Hello my dear, this is Vujal Kumar Sen. Well, today we are going to study about uh, Zeroth law and uh, other laws of thermodynamics. So that's why I have outlined this laws of thermodynamics. I hope you have watched my all video lectures of thermodynamics. Well, so what is Zeroth law basically? We need to understand this, what is Zeroth law? So uh, according to this law, this law, uh, this law has been provided by R. H. Fowler and for your kind information I have to discuss with you that is uh, this law has developed or has provided by R. H. Fowler after all three laws all other three laws first law second law and third law so because of this is a most basic law that's why this law is known as zeroth law so according to this law i mean how we are going to understand this law this is most important so to make you understand this law much better way i have to draw a drawing so suppose that this is a container this is a container and this is a good conductor of heat good conductor of heat because in thermodynamics we study about heat so we must have a good conductor of heat to understand the concept of zeroth law and here we have two rod rod one this rod also this rod is also good conductor of heat and this one rod two and suppose that this container is three so I have three important components here and all of these components are good conductor of heat remember this this is most important now if component one temperature is equal to component two temperature equation one and if component component one temperature is equal to component three temperature equation two if both equation both equation valid for this diagram then we can say uh, container one temperature uh, sorry container two temperature is equal to container three temperature so this is the conclusion behind this zeroth law I hope you understand what is it if you don't then go up uh, I mean just go back and watch this video again well if you'll get any question regarding this zero law then you can ask me by giving me your comments so let's move forward to the next law and keep watching you will get very interesting things in between these laws so let's move to the other law so what is first law first law first law is nothing energy neither be created nor be destroyed however it can transfer from one form to another form this is this is the statement of first law i don't know in which class you were studying um m tech plus b tech b tech plus m tech i must say and uh, currently i am going to join phd well i hope uh, you are getting and uh, let me tell you one thing in 10th uh, not i haven't studied about thermodynamics in 10th that much well in 11th in 12th in btech all where everywhere i have studied this law and this is the law that's why the definition is same so it doesn't matter in which class you are studying if you remember if you understand it then it will be helpful for you all right so what is first law energy neither be created nor be destroyed however it can it can transform from one form to another form well now let's move to the equation mathematical equation this is most important very soon i am going to upload a video on this uh i mean you know i am from india i don't know from where you were uh, you were watching i am from india in india there is, ex there is an examination gate and i am going to upload couple of questions so i will solve those questions those come in gate uh, previously okay now what uh, mathematically how we can express this that is delta q equal to delta u plus delta w now 
this is important what i am going to tell you just understand it if if there there is a system there is a system suppose that this is a system so what is system anything our consideration or attention is focused that is known as system our attention is focused if somewhere that is known as system if there is system and this is a isolated system isolated system that means neither mass nor energy can transfer from one I mean, from system to surrounding or not even surrounding to system so this is not an isolated system if there is an isolated system there would be any work done yes or no yes there will be work done but if there is isolated system and ideal gas we are using ideal gas then there would not be any work done remember this this is most important all right so this is the first law and this dw del w is equal to p del b now this is also also known as w and this is for another system there's two types of work done for you know for flow and for flow process work done and for non-flow process work done i will discuss later on this topic and you will understand much more about thermodynamics all right so let's move to the next law you know if you are now that is second law just keep watching you are going to learn much more on second law as well as on third law now what's what is second law what is thermodynamic second law second law is nothing second law having two definition basically and there are few consequences we need to understand when to study about those consequences all right so what is second law basically second law is nothing but second law means you know uh, if if there is a rod and in this rod this is again i'm considering this rod as good conductor of good conductor of heat therefore what will happen if i will hit i will hit this side then electron will flow from this side and if this is a cold junction then this one then heat will flow from here to here i mean heat will flow from higher temperature higher temperature to lower temperature higher temperature to lower temperature this is a, a second law of thermodynamics if we you are studying in you know other than 12th class if you are studying in graduation then this is the law probably you have heard now the if you are studying in 12th class there is a definition i don't want to write because i don't want to waste time so that is a definition just listen to me carefully what is the definition for that that is entropy of universe always increases with the source of every spontaneous change this is the definition of second law of thermodynamics in lower class i mean maybe 11th and 10th you have studied and i have studied this in 12th class and then i mean, maybe i couldn't remember in which class i have studied about this now let's move to the third law what is third law basically what is third law third law is the definition that is universal if you are studying 12th class we are going to study that same definition in btech also i mean in bachelor of technology that is engineering so in third law what we study at and uh, at absolute zero at here i'm going to discuss with you important concept at absolute zero the entropy of a perfectly crystalline substance is zero at absolute zero the entropy of a perfectly crystalline substance is zero now the concept is that what is absolute zero what is the meaning of absolute zero there is nothing only one thing you need to remember absolute zero means k is equal to zero and k is kelvin this is one of the unit of temperature i hope you know well i hope you understand first law second law third law as well as zeroth law of thermodynamics well thanks for watching hope to see you again in my next video bye bye